So let's say you have a really cool drawing and you want to tattoo it. Well, now you can. We're going to do that and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, and we're going to test out stuff you can find at home versus like a little kit you can buy off Amazon. sponsored by Squarespace. So you got yourself some petroleum jelly, a spray bottle, what else? Pens? I think it was pens. A sewing kit. Al alcohol, gloves, paper towels in your hands. No, you got water. That's distilled water and you got soap and a sharpie. I think that's everything I- oh, a pencil and a knife. I think that's everything I used. Oh, a lighter? I also used a lighter. Oh, an arm. Okay, there we go. Those are all the things I used. So you're gonna take a pencil, take off the little eraser, and just cut a little gap right there at the edge. We'll use that later. Put some soap in the spray bottle, add that distilled water, shake it up, and spray the, the table. Then you're gonna put saran wrap on top of that. That's gonna help things stay sanitary. It's also why we have gloves. If you don't have gloves, maybe you should get some gloves. So I use fire on the needle. I don't know if you really need that, but whatever. And then I put alcohol on top of that to sanitize it, and I use some thread. You're gonna see later in the video, I actually don't like the thread. I didn't use it. This is my first time trying stick and poke. So there you go, there's there's the honest truth. Anyways, so you take that needle, put it in the little gap that you made, tape it up so it's not gonna move anywhere. And we're gonna use pens, these little like gel pens. And we're gonna try to use the ink from these. And hopefully that, whoops, hopefully that will work. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll go ahead and try it out. So first thing we need to do, we need to draw out your design. This is uh, Shrek, he's beautiful. Get out of get out of me swamp. What did people say? Okay, so I got my gloves back on and now we just got to trace that design onto her arm First thing I did I sanitize it with some alcohol and now we're just gonna draw it on with a sharpie pretty rough But that that gets the picture. We're great. So with that we can start stick and poking We can start stick and poking uh, Like I said, this is the first time ever doing this. So the first time it wasn't great uh but I didn't end up doing Swampy Boy. I did these two little five these smiley faces design. I want to do one with red ink and one with black ink. And I mean, it, it kind of seemed like working. It was working. The ink was kind of thick, and so it was hard. And also, it was hard to tell. So we pop out this tattoo kit. And in the title, I think I'm gonna be like, oh, the professional. And I'm using the word professional very loosely. But I mean, this is like Vaseline. The professionals use Vaseline. Oh, also that's a good trick to keep the little cap on the place. Oh, the needles. Got needles. And depending on the type, it depends on how many needles there are. See, look, there's like three and six. So I drew out the design on some transfer paper and cut it out. And I'm just gonna practice on this fake skin. And I don't know if it's gonna transfer. So I sprayed it a little bit, hoping if I got a wet, it would transfer a little better. Put it on there and it kind of transferred. It's good enough. So with that, I'm gonna take that needle. It's already sterilized, which is nice. I popped it in this thing. I actually ended up not even liking that thing at the end, but for now, like maybe you like it. I wrapped a paper towel around it and then the like sports wrap so that I have more of like a ball, a bigger grip thing and it's gonna be comfy because I'm gonna be here a while. So dip it in your ink and that's the ink that came in the kit and just kind of push it on in that skin. And, and like you can kind of feel when it's like the pressure that you need to be at least that's kind of what I started to understand and yeah no I don't know I feel like I uh, if I can do this anyone can do this it was like very rough but it worked I mean you'll you'll decide when you see the end you'll see like oh it worked or it didn't work anyway so here's some skin marker that can like it goes away it, it, it not erases, but it goes away. It cleans off. What am I trying to say? Anyways, I think the first thing I realized with this is you gotta keep the skin like taut. So I always had like pressure with my left hand, and then I'd clean off periodically with paper and green soap with distilled water. And I just went around in a circle and I'd wipe it off to see how well it did. And uh, I can kind of see. Oh, also, I added Vaseline to keep it nice and moist. Uh, periodically so again just went around and I had to do a couple passes uh, to get that line to show up after it healed I realized like 
it, it not that it like spreads but i feel like the ink kind of fills in a little bit because those lines look really thin and then you'll see when it's all done it kind of filled some gaps but anyway it's time to go around here with the black same idea just keeping it nice and taut and then periodically brushing off so i can see what i'm doing and i had to do a couple different passes uh i can't remember what needle that was i think there's three it's a th uh, a line needle to do line work with three little needles in it and, and yeah so with that all done i mean not too shabby for my first second poke i didn't have any ex extra skin what's that called second skin so i just used some vaseline and saran wrap and taped it down and masking tape does not stick to skin it doesn't it just doesn't do that so i just used some sports tape and honestly sticking pokes I i'm not gonna say like they heal quicker but i think it would have been fine if i didn't put that on there but whatever so here we go you're gonna clean it on up and there you go that's after like a month of it being healed i wanted to try again now that i kind of had some experience with some tattoo ink and then like the diy pencil and sewing needle so that's what we're doing here and just like right off the bat i realized i when i first was doing it, i wasn't keeping the skin taut like and so i couldn't ever like really pierce the skin with the needle and the ink then also the ink does make a big difference this was like more liquidy and so it kind of just flowed off the tip of the needle better sure that's scientific i'm i'm it's me science tattoo science man uh well what am i saying oh another big huge help was having like a legit stencil uh or transfer rather so getting like i use the professional transfer sheet that my friend this is annie my friend who i'm tattooing by the way she she like has a gun and all that stuff and she just transferred one onto her skin and helped me with this process so before we get any further cute little past me has something to say i don't know why i'm doing this all right huge thank you to today's sponsor squarespace so i'm gonna take a look see just on their website uh you can start your free trial there's a link in the description ww squarespace backslash backslash schmood if you do that link it will make the will squarespace know that you came from me which is great but anyways create a website you go from an idea to a published site quickly which is my favorite thing about them with all their templates sell anything the e-commerce whether it's a product a service there's more than that i can't think of other things product service digital whatever it is it made it super easy for you to do that i know they have an app and they have some other things to help you like you can make some videos and promotional stuff but my favorite thing that they do is the email campaign and honestly i think that's one thing that that's kept me stoked on squarespace like still using them and partnered with them is that their email campaigns are so seamless honestly everything that they like all the plugins like i have it plugged into a, another thing for shipping things out also very seamless it makes it very easy so it's like i don't have to do get a bunch of different websites to like run one big thing and it's just me doing it which hopefully will change but in the meantime where it's just me squarespace has made that super easy and you can start free trial no credit card required so yeah you can go to link in the description and then when you do decide to purchase something, use coupon code SHMOO to get 10% off your first purchase. I don't know why I did that. That last, last thumbs up was a little intense. Okay, cool. So, I'm not wearing shoes. No free feet pics. Uh, I'll, yeah, no, back to the, the, the project at hand. All right, vaseline up, vaselining up the skin, keep it nice and moist, which helps because every time I like wipe it off with the the soap, I feel like I'm like drying out the skin and irritating the skin. Vaseline should help it stay a little less irritated. So yeah, this took a bajillion little dots, and I feel like if I would have been more like organized, it would have been easier. I was kind of just like randomly poking it and wiping it and seeing where it needed more. Uh, but I also kind of wanted it to be like. A little like spaced out and kind of sketchy looking so we're just gonna try to make it as even as possible so I went across a couple different times where I thought it needed it more and also I realized if you held the the needle kind of out of an angle that helped so last experiment I want to see if like inks compared to like the professional ink uh, if it would work better if I like thinned it out and if it, the pens would make it different so lined up some caps and we're gonna start with this big pen ink, which is, is kind of I don't know. It's it's it, it's black. Is it black? I feel like it's kind of blue. No, it's black. 
So I cut off the edges and blew it on, blew it on out. And we're gonna dilute it, thin it out with some witch hazel, and see if that works. If it flows better, it kind of flows the same. We'll add more witch hazel, and then do another cap. And with this one, I think I added alcohol. Is that true? I did. Nope. That's the green soap. The green soap mixed with uh, distilled water. Oop, missed again. I'm a really bad aim. My bathroom is horrendous. Uh, so then I did the third one, and this one I put alcohol. Nice. Good job. Then for the last little caps, I used the, the what, ink? Oh, like the gel ink. I really think the gel ink would work. And I think I just had one without anything, kind of as a, oh, what's it called? Scientific, the scientific method, the constant, the... Is it the constant? I can't. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, thinned out that last one. And we're just going to go ahead and put a little something on Annie's arm here. A little sweetheart. And so I just marked. I was going to do like tally marks. So we can compare each of the tally marks. So I just marked where I was going to go. Oh, added some Vaseline. And I could. I feel like, you know, it, it still didn't really flow super well. But it, I feel like it was working better than that first try I did. But also, again, I think it, having like the skin tight made the world of difference. So with that, got one line in. We can do a second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Is that how many samples I have? And we'll check back after a month and see like how it looks. Oh, that's six. One, two, three, four. What was the six, sixth line? No. Oh my gosh, I'm not good at counting. That's only five lines. Oh, bless my sweet little brain. So here it is. It, it, it's kind of scrunchy. Some of it didn't really look. And then after a month, basically completely gone. I, uh, I'm i sure you can make it work if you like went hard. But really, I think the like, go-to move is just using like tattooing. And honestly, the Amazon kit was like, I think like 15 bucks or something. Maybe, maybe 20. I don't know. It was really cheap. Might as well do it. Okay, love you. Bye. Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell notification, and yeah.